Okay, guys. Right, on the floor, just there, or lunch wigs, rather than just lay them out, they basically will become, like, basically insulation off the floor, because the floor is still slightly damp, um, and that's freezing cold, the floor, where these aren't cold, these are just normal temperature. Um, so they'll also help the fire along with it being a different temperature range. <clears throat> and then, just here, if you can see, I've got some birch. And the way we prepare this is just grab my knife. Okay, you want to do something get A piece. It preferably will be bigger than this. You need a sheet maybe that big. Not that big is usually the perfect size. But I haven't only got one that big. Okay, so what we do is just gently try and do this so you can see. Just gently just scrape. And even if it's slightly damp, the underside should be dry. Good, really thin, yeah, really, really thin shavings, and these light really, really easily. So, just put that just on top. And what I'm going to use the lighter is a therosium rod, okay? And that looks like this. It's basically just a man made alloy, and on the back of a knife. You get a shower of sparks, okay? And these sparks should be more than enough to ignite this tinder over here, okay? So, that's the tinder. I'll just zoom in a bit. Oh, we don't really mount. There he is, okay? So, what you do is just put this just next to it, try not to disturb it too much, and then. Oh. oh, nearly. Okay guys, the problem I'm having is because it's so small, I haven't really been able to scratch up enough of the like, fine underbelly. So I'm going to use this other little piece here, which I don't know if it'll wear very well, but it's worth a try. After all, we need fire. Actually, this one seems to be coming up a bit better. Okay, so try not to disturb it too much. Oh, I've lost it. Bit. Okay, there it is. Okay. Now, this is the new bunch of tinder. So, I'm going to try and like this one. Now, this one looks like it's better. Now I've lost. All my fine shavings that I've ripped up. Now these are slightly damp, but there's so many oils in it, it should. Light still. However, nothing's going to plant today, so we'll soon find, we'll soon see. Do 
you know, everything's so wet and damp, it's not really working. Okay, so we'll do scrape up a little bit more, give it one more go, and then in these situations, always have a backup plan. And I'll show you what that backup plan is. Come on, boss. Okay, so nothing seems to be working here. So just bear with me two seconds. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is going to use the smallest amount of cotton wool. Okay, now this stuff goes up really quickly. So hopefully. This should work now. There we go. And then just put on the really fine sticks, just wait for them to catch. Okay. Come on, don't go out now. Okay, where's the rest of this bird's bar? Oh, come on. Okay, that was my fault. I just put it out. For some reason, fellas, nothing wants to light today. So,
hardest thing seems to be getting these sticks to light. Yeah, let me just adjust this camera, just so you can see just how bad it's going for me. Okay, best of all, zoom out. Okay, so So as you've probably made out by now, it still isn't lighting. Nothing in this woods wants to light today. And I have no idea why. So one last thing I had, just in case this happened, was some gear. Okay guys, what I've got here now is a fuel gel that I use on my canteen cup stove. Burnt for quite a while. So I should using this be able to spark up a flame and if this doesn't work then nothing will. Okay guys, what I've just done is just threw all of the wood I have just over it. We have plenty of space for it to breathe, and so hopefully it'll dry out the wood that's a bit sudden. Well, sudden is the right word, just slightly damp. And I'll get back to you in a minute when I've finally got this going properly.